Not sure what the bezel insert is made from. Bear with me. Hi guys, I'm Matt. Welcome to Under the Cuff. This is another review. Today I'm reviewing the Zodiac Super Seawolf 53 Skin. This is a watch that I was lent a few weeks ago at Watch Pro, an event I attended where I met Mike from Zodiac, who very kindly lent me this watch. At the time, I freely admit that I knew almost nothing about Zodiac other than the fact that they existed. I knew none of the history, none of the provenance. In 2001, Fossil bought the Zodiac Group and in 2015 re-released the Seawolf line. The Super Seawolf brand goes back to the 1950s and in fact precedes the Rolex Submariner. The Super Seawolf came out at the same time as the Blancpain 50 Fathoms the year before the Submariner. It's a 39mm dive watch with 20mm lugs. It's got a 200m water resistance. The bezel is 120 clicks rotating, monodirectional. Has a good solid feel to it. The bezel insert has markers up to the 3 o'clock position, as you would expect for a diver. I'm not sure what the bezel insert is made from. Bear with me. So the bezel insert itself is actually ceramic, but the matte finish of it does give the vibe of that 50s Bakelite look to it. The case is uh, vertically brushed along the flanks, and there is some polishing to the case back. The 12, 3, 6 and 9 markers are loomed, as well as the hands, with a curious orange tone to them which does make them actually quite hard to read. Being at the red end of the spectrum does make it a lot more difficult to, uh, to tell the time at night versus green or blue. There's a reason military operators use red lights in their dashboards, and that is so that they uh, are not visible from a, from a great distance to any enemies. The movement inside. The movement is inside this. So the watches themselves are assembled in Switzerland, but the dial itself then has a nice dappled texture to it, almost leather-like in its appearance. The text is a mixture of white and orange, uh, the accents which match the tip of the seconds hand and the pip at the 12 o'clock position on the bezel. The numerals within the dial itself at the 12, 3, 6 and 9 position are uh, metallic, which does make it not particularly legible, um, especially at night time when the loom isn't great either. Not that that really matters. Uh, we all know where the 12, 3, 6 and 9 positions are, which is why they have such large markers on them as well. I love the vintage style of the dial. The triangular hour markers are very reminiscent of that 50s design. The crown itself has the Zodiac logo etched into it. It's a bit small, I would say, especially if you were intending to use this as a dive watch. Uh, with gloves on and the domed uh, shape of it doesn't give you much material to grasp. I do like the sharp shape of the minute and the hour hand though and it does lend itself well to a strap change or two. At the moment I've got it on the under the cuff Vulcan Bicolor NATO. I nearly lost this watch and had to send a, a very apologetic email to Zodiac themselves when I was wearing this uh, back from work, tried to put my arm rather too aggressively through the straps of my bag and ended up popping the spring bars off one of the lugs. Uh, luckily it was saved because it was a NATO which meant that it was hanging from only one of the spring bars. The benefits of having a NATO strap. The triangular hour markers are really reminiscent of that dive watch period from the early 50s. It's actually pretty light. You'd be forgiven for thinking this was a titanium watch. It is stainless steel, 316L. The rear is part polished, part brushed. The sides are satin finished. Because of its lightweight, it's really comfortable to wear. 39 millimeters is the, that golden size. Um, 40 for me would have been just perfect, perhaps 40.5. Let me just check the thickness of this one. 12.8 millimeters thick. And let's just check. Yep, 39 millimeters wide. Lug tip to lug tip, it is 46.2 millimeters. Very, very wearable indeed. 
It's going to be a really comfortable daily wearer if you choose this watch. It's nice to see that there is loom infilled into the bezel itself, and those markers do stand out. The crystal is domed sapphire, and it does have anti-reflective coating on it. Having worn this on the wrist for the last six weeks or so, it's 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 just a nice piece, you know. It's I, perhaps I would have liked to have seen it a few hundred pounds cheaper if it's twelve hundred dollars, maybe in the eight hundred dollar mark. But you know, this is a, a more special edition version of the Super Seawolf range, being the fifty three skin, harking back to the original design. So there is perhaps that design element element that needs to be paid for. The movement, I can't speak to much of it. It's not particularly smooth when being wound up. But it's not particularly rough either. I don't know if you can hear this. It's, you know, it's, it's no Tudor or Rolex. As for the design, it's that classic 50s dive wash design. You can't really go wrong with that. The only thing I would like to have seen them change is that loom colour. I see why they've done it. It's to complement the accents of orange on the dial and the hand and the uh, pip on the bezel. But really, I don't think it needed that much colour coordination. It's, it almost serves no function at all, that loom. It's a fun piece from a brand with a genuine military harking, especially that military dive period for the Americans. I look forward to seeing more from Zodiac in the future, especially in the UK, where they seem to be a relatively unknown brand compared to others. Much bigger in the US and Scandinavia, I believe. As reincarnations of earlier versions go, it's a really nice one. They've They've covered the design aspects of the original watch really nicely and brought it up to speed with the modern movement. That's what I like to see. Go and check out Zodiac Watches. They've got a fantastic selection. I do think that they're a brand that we really need to explore a little bit more in this country. Thank you for watching the video. After much hounding from you guys, I have conceded and finally put together some under the cuff merch. Hope you like. Uh, a nice snuggly hoodie and a suede baseball cap might be welcome additions in five colours, including pink. Uh, I only have 15 of the hoodies available in initial release, so get in quick if you want one. If you've liked this video from me, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel too. Don't forget to touch my bell to turn on notifications. I really do hope to be able to make some more videos like this for you all. Your likes, your subscriptions, your merchandise purchases, your strap purchases, all helps me to get closer to the brands that lend me their watches. So if you have liked this review and the others, please get on board. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at undercuffofficial. See you next time. All the best, Matt.